All right, everybody, welcome back. Heading back up to the castle. Which apparently is just right around the corner. <laughs> that must be Gabriel's car. Yes, yes. I wonder where the keys are. Why'd she walk on that side of the column? Gerda? Yes? I need to get into the records. Do you have the keys to the car outside? That is Gabriel's car. He doesn't even let me drive it. I had a feeling you'd <laughs> say that. God, she is the worst! Well, thanks. Let's go upstairs. Try to bust into that room. I like her pants. Hmm. No, damn it. Look at his tools. One of his tools. Use them to open the door, I guess. What was that? Driver. One of the workmen's screwdrivers. Let's just steal his tools. I don't think I need that. Alright, fine. Be that way, bitch. What is that? There's a rock missing. Let's use that on it. I don't know what that'll do. Maybe it'll open a secret passage. That'd be dope. Oh! What did that do? Oh, I bet you that's does did something in the wardrobe. Fuck yeah! Look at me making things happen. Way to go. Spooky. Someone's been using this passageway. Boom. Hmm. Let's go this way first. Oh, shit. Oh, we're in a different room. Whose room is this? I thought I was going back to I can't room. go out that way. I don't want Gerda to know I'm in here. Oh, this is Gerda's room. What has she been doing? Oh, nice. Reflections in the mirror? It's complicated stuff right there. That must be Wolfgang. Something to remember him by, I guess. What does that say? Uh, W-Y? Vague? Ausvague? Maybe? That must be Wolfgang. Yeah, I didn't mean to kill it again. That's it? There's nothing else to do in her room? Why the hell is this here, then? This is stupid. Maybe I have to break in here at some other time. Gerda's up to something. Ooh, what is that? Oh, I bet you that's the key to that room. Fuck you, Gerda. I'm smarter than you. Look at her. Don't close it. You need to go back through there. I can't go out there. It's down here. Probably get a flashlight or something before you go down to the creepy dungeon. Oh gosh. Now I'm feeling like I should have saved it. I don't like this. So there's gonna be some sort of secret trap that's gonna cut her head off or something. Well, maybe not. Secret exit? Tight. 
The Secret Garden. <laughs> she looks so amazed. It's outside. Have you never seen outside before? An emergency exit. <laughs> I guess. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, Snoopin. An emergency exit. <laughs> I guess that makes sense if you're fighting the legions of darkness. How convenient. When the Lord of the Manor is slipping through the passageway to his amorous adventures, he can pick up a few flowers. The castle looks huge from here. They've got more rooms left to restore than I thought. The castle looks I can't keep continuing on that way. I think it'll I think it'll be quicker to go back the way I came. Yeah, me too. Alright. Bird is gonna be standing there with a stern look on her face, isn't she? Oh, nope. Man, I want a secret passage. Hopefully this is the right key. If not, you just stole her key for no reason. She's gotta find out you took that key eventually. Better go bring it back. Well, let's start hunting. Books on the occult. Here we go. Vampires. Witchcraft. Ghosts, Asian spirits, hmm, lycanthropes. There we go. It's the smallest book on the shelf. Those bookshelves look like they're about to collapse any second. Charles Jennings. Ooh, what's this now? Sealed letter? Let's open it. How did you get in here? Oh, hi. How did you unlock the door? Uh, the key. Cat fight. Oh, I see. Alright. Look. Let's just drop all the pretense, okay? Obviously, I found the passageway. I know what's been going on in this little Alpinian love nest, and really, I couldn't care less. If you want to <laughs> screw around with your employer, that's none of my business. But what I won't put up with is assisting the Schottenjäger crap. I gave up school to work on this stuff because I thought it was important. I'm doing the research that Gabriel wanted, and so help me, I'm going to be doing more than this research this time around. And I'm going to sit around and wait for him to call and give me permission. And if you don't like it, it's just too damn bad! <laughs> You're going to make her cry. Okay. Fine. You do the damn research. <laughs> Man, it's going to be tense. Damn it. Hey, you best go apologize and make love. There's nothing else. Biographies. Looks like they're mostly about Germans. Oh, who would have thought? In a German library? We need to find out about this damn case so we can get back to town. Oh my god, could you peruse any slower?
The Journal of Victor Ritter. Well, that should be helpful. Wasn't he the guy who caught the dude? I'm or not something? sure what other case books would be relevant. I don't know. Let's go down here. I suppose in the next Blake Backlash book, good old Fujitsu will be replaced by Hildegard. <laughs> Who should I call? I don't know. Uh, Yale? I don't need to call Professor Barkley right now. <laughs> There's all this crap. Crap. Hard at work night. Shit. Hmm. Where's that letter? Letter to Ludwig II. Koning Ludwig the Second of von Bayern. Fourth of March, eighteen sixty-four, to King Ludwig the Second, most gracious ruler of all Bavaria. I beg your forgiveness for my forthrightness in this letter, but I fear terribly for your majesty's safety and thus have no time for subtlety. Why is he writing it in English? I have heard that the one they call the Black Wolf is close to your highness. I have been investigating this man for reasons I cannot name at present, and I have learned that he is extremely dangerous and can only have the most dire of motives at heart in anything he pursues. Hmm. I beg your highness only this. Please do not see this man alone, nor even with your servants, only to guard you. I promise you, all will be made clear very shortly when my investigation is complete. For now, only keep yourself safe. Your most grateful servant, Christian von Ritter, Schloss Ritter, Rittersburg, Bavaria. Hmm. Chapter 3 Lycanthropy, the ways of the wolf. Oh man, this is a long book. There are two categories of werewolf cases, false or lycanthropic disorder cases and genuine werewolf cases. Lycanthropic disorder. Lycanthropic disorder is a mental condition in which the subject, called a lycanthrope, <laughs> believes that he or she is a werewolf. The subject does not actually change shape, but is nevertheless capable of being as dangerous as an actual werewolf. Most cases of supposed werewolfry are really the work of lycanthropic disorder victims, man to beast. In real werewolves, a physical change to wolf form does occur. The change can be voluntary, at will, or can be forced by certain cycles of the moon and certain sounds, such as howling. There are two categories lycanthropic man to beast. Turn the damn page. Jeez. Werewolves and immortality. Werewolves are immune from aging and from most That's physical nice. diseases due to the constant regeneration of their physical tissue. They can therefore be virtually immortal. However, they can be killed by any wound that destroys the heart or the brain, or any form of death that causes brain or heart damage, such as hanging or other oxygen deprivation methods. The mind of a werewolf. Though primarily a true wolf while in wolf form, there is some proof that the werewolf retains enough knowledge to assist his killing. Recognition of victims, evasion of traps, and human cunning have all been seen on werewolf cases. Becoming a werewolf. There are several ways to become a werewolf. They include being given the power of shape-shifting through sorcery, being cursed by someone whom you have wronged in some way, called the Lyconia Curse, being bitten by a werewolf, and being born to a werewolf. In each case, the blood of the subject becomes tainted or cursed. Damnation. A person who becomes a werewolf against his will, birth, curse or bite is not completely damned until he tastes of human blood once he does his soul is eternally damned and nothing may redeem him well, that sucks. even without tasting of human blood however as long as the taint lays upon the immortal soul it cannot enter into heaven and will remain chained to the mortal plane upon death holy bullsack this is long
All right. Werewolf packs. Like real wolves, werewolves can live alone for many years, yet the instinct for a pack often leads them away from their secretive lifestyles into revealing their nature to a priest or close associate or converting another to a werewolf free for companionship. <laughs> This is when the otherwise cagey werewolf opens himself to detection. Werewolf packs cause immense destruction. A pack consists of one werewolf who became a werewolf through sorcery, birth, or curse. In other words, his is the original tainted blood. This werewolf is called the Alpha Werewolf. The remaining werewolves in the pack are called Beta Werewolves because they became werewolves through the bite of the Alpha and carry the Alpha's tainted blood. Whoa! <laughs> alpha and Beta Werewolves The relationship between Alpha and Beta Werewolves is a complex one. Once a subject is bitten by a werewolf, his or her life and death are doomed to the werewolf curse. The victim does, however, have some hope. As long as they themselves do not taste of human blood, the curse is reversible. If the Alpha Werewolf is killed through some action of the Beta, the beta's curse ah, is so broken. The beta has to kill it the is alpha. important to note that whether the beta werewolf was bitten by the alpha werewolf himself or by another beta, it is the alpha who must be destroyed, the source of the original tainted blood. It is also an interesting note that since betas and alphas share the same common blood, an alpha cannot physically harm a beta of his own bloodline by his own hand without inflicting the same injury upon himself. However, if a beta is harmed or killed by another, it does not affect the alpha. Well, that's weird. Symptoms of werewolf free. Werewolf free. When hunting for a werewolf, it is important to remember that your biggest clues will come through your suspect's personalities. Becoming a werewolf is not transparent, no matter how the victim tries to hide it. The tainted subhuman blood greatly alters the subject's own mind and personality, even physical appearance. Therefore, Look for symptoms in your human suspects that include increasing violence, increasing aggression, unprovoked rages, insomnia, restlessness, and other bizarre behavior. Unfortunately, over time, these symptoms can be brought under control, so do not rely upon them exclusively. A good example of this comes from a case reported by the ancient priesthood society, Manos del Sol of Brazil. Manos del Sol. A rash of werewolf killings there was tracked to a high-ranking officer in the army. The society became aware of the man mainly through rumors of his violent behavior and changed personality. The case was successfully resolved with a man's capture. Manos del Sol. Men of the Sun? I wonder if they're like Schattenjägers, only Brazilian. I don't know. What else we got here? Victor von Ritter's journal. Oh, good. This one's not nearly as long as the last one. Numerous deaths at the hands of a marauding wolf being recorded in a neighboring county, I set out to see if I could determine the cause. There had been rumors of a werewolf, and the dark signs did indeed seem to be present. The deaths had all occurred within a 40-kilometer range of woods, and at the heart was the village of Alfeng. My assistant and I set a trap a short distance from the village. Though the beast had shown a propensity for human flesh, livestock had also been taken. It was a newling lamb we loosed in the thicket as a lure. We awaited downwind. For two nights, the lamb bleated to no purpose, and once we had to fend off a hungry fox. But at last, the beast himself took the bait. I might have missed him. The night was so dark, and the wolf himself was black. But my assistant saw the light of his eyes, and I heard the lamb's cries turn fearful. He had the poor dumb lamb by the throat when we sprang. He was swift and might have escaped, but his fatal mistake was to attack rather than run. My dagger struck through his chest and into his right lung. As I had agreed, we bound the Jeez. wolf and tied shut its jaws. We brought it home to Rittersburg, still breathing, and turned it over to the magistrate. I pray for the man's unfortunate soul. May the law be swift and merciful. God be praised for aiding his servant. From his hand came the strength and wisdom to end the killing. Victor Ritter, Schottenegger, 20 April 1750. Alright, that's the date we gotta tell that dude, I guess. 
sure we can't call anybody? Oh shit, there we go. Guess I just had to learn some stuff first and get some answers from this dude. Who the fuck is this? this dude at Yale? Hello? Professor Barkley? This is Grace Nakamura. I'm calling from Germany. Germany? I thought you were in New Orleans. I was, but anyway, it's rather important or I wouldn't have bothered you. Do you know anything about King Ludwig II of Bavaria? <laughs> well, that's a hell of a thing to ask a man in the middle of the night. Uh, late 1800s, right? Yes. Uh, this isn't really my field. Uh, <laughs> I, I think he was crazy or something. I wish I knew. Do you know anyone who specializes in German history? Yeah, I, I have a friend at the University of Berlin. This guy is a I'll terrible really, actor. Uh, what's your number there? It's 4989-555-7878. Okay, I'll, I'll call you back if I remember this conversation in the morning anyway. Great. Sorry again. Thanks. Bye. Bye. I'm not quite ready to write the big hero yet. I suppose... Hmm. Anything else I need in here? Doesn't seem like it. Maybe I should just go back to town and do something. <laughs> Yeah, Gerda. Sorry, I almost made you cry. <clears throat> Hello again. Did you need something else? Yes. The trial records. Remember that werewolf trial I'd asked you about? I have a date now. April 1750. Excellent. Let me go look. April 20th, 1750. That was awfully quick. I heard of this case when I was a boy. Uh, but I always thought it was just a scary tale. Uh, it, I never thought to look in the archives. <laughs> it was there, all right. Uh, what did you want to know? Why did they bring the wolf to Rittersburg? I know the Schottenjager lived here, but why didn't he just... Kill it where he found it? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Ah. Yes. Uh, they wanted to know what man it was, uh, who it was. They brought it here so it would change back? Yes, exactly. Uh, Did it? What happened to the alleged werewolf? Why didn't you just keep it held up he instead of putting it back down after every question? For two days, he confessed his guilt. Uh, the trial took place on the third day, and he was uh, sentenced to death by watering and the stake. Watering? He was given a final meal. He asked to see a confessor, and this was granted. Uh, he died at dawn the following day. They pulled off his limbs and burned him? Don't think harshly of us, miss. That was a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> Where was the werewolf kept while it was here? The dungeon. There's a dungeon in the Rat House basement. We don't use it anymore, of course. Haven't for many years. Can I see it? Did it change back? That's what it says. They put the wolf in a cell, and the next morning they found a man in there. 
a laborer from out of town uh, identified him as Baron von Raleigh uh, from Alfing. Why did they want to find out who the werewolf was? I would guess. Uh, I don't know. They probably want to put a face yes. to the one who's been murdering everyone. It says here that a group of villagers were sent to the werewolf's hometown once they learned its human identity. Why? <laughs> they thought there were more of them there? Uh, yes. In those days, uh, the family of the identified werewolf would be in great danger. Uh, many believed such curses were handed down through the bloodline. All right. Was there anything else? I suppose not. Unless, is there any way I could see the dungeon? It would be my pleasure. You're very, just very flippant about all of these like top secret records and dungeons and whatnot. Ah, that's the locked door. It's a lot taller than her. Or that, or she was on a lower step. Everything's been kept the way it was when the dungeon was in use. We show it off to tourists sometimes. <laughs> Claustrophobic. I tell you what, normally this place is locked to keep out the village children. I'll leave it open. You can come and go as you please. Would you? Thank you so much. You are most welcome. Goodbye is... and good luck. Again, Bye. just way too nice about all this crap. Alright, let's snoop around, I guess. Let's check, take a look at the window. You know, this is very spacious for a dungeon cell. He asked to see a confessor. That's the church in the square. Claw marks. Claw marks. Claw marks. Claw marks. Oh, it got a lot wrinklier. <laughs> that was like a pretty modern blanket thing. Like slept here. Some nasty old pillow. Anything else around here? Hmm. <laughs> Don't see anything else. Go over here to the church and say, "Yo, does anybody remember this crap?" Uh, let's show him something. Uh, well, this. I don't think he'd be interested in that. Oh, fuck you. I don't think he'd be interested in that. Uh, I don't think he'd be interested in that. I don't think you'd be interested in that. Kill him with the screwdriver. I don't think he'd be interested in that. I don't think he'd be interested in that. Oops, did not mean to do that. 
Maybe I need to write something in the notebook. I found a letter in the world. Uh, Rot House Rec. I don't think he'd be interested in. Well, show him that. Hmm. I want to keep this moving along. I did pretty well through this. Uh. Get bed. Talk to Mayor. Ah, I need to talk to the mayor first. That was the problem. I got almost all the way through this chapter without looking at the walkthrough. That's pretty damn good, if I do say so myself. Hello again. Did you need something else? Church records. I had a thought while I was in the dungeon. Yes? You mentioned that Baron von Rolick was allowed to give a last confession. I suppose the priest was from St. George's? I suppose it was. Would there be a record of the last confession? It might tell us more about the Baron's life. Hmm. Good idea, young lady. Those records are Why in German, she... though. And Why Father does he Gett care? doesn't speak English. Do you think this would really help your Schattenjäger? Oh. I'm not you sure. It's for the Schattenjäger. It couldn't hurt. All right. I'll write you a note. You give it to Father Gates, and he'll see if they have a record of the confession. If they do, you bring it back here to me, and I'll help you translate it, okay? That would be wonderful. Thanks, Thank Mr. Mayor. Thank you so Mayor. much. Certainly. I like how there's only like four people who live in this town. You got my curiosity up too, you know. I like how he only ever talks to me through that little half door. <laughs> yes, yes, walk, walk, walk. Is he walk? She walks faster than Gabriel. Dude walks like he's got lead weights in his shoes. Das hier ist von Herrn Habermas. Ein Moment, bitte. You read that note awfully quickly. Das ist für Sie. And in about three seconds he has it. <laughs> Danke schön. All right, back to the mayor. Let's bounce. This time we spend in that creepy ass church the better. I have the church file. Excellent. Let me see it. What's this? <clears throat> oh, it's confession. This is in English. It's from a lawyer in Buenos Aires. It's addressed to St. Georg's Church. The date is 1764. What's it say? It's a request for information about the death of Baron Klaus von Raleck. It says huh. it's for the family. I assume someone answered it. The seal on the envelope. A wolf. Which is the monster soul people? Okay. <clears throat> the last confession. Mm -hmm. The Raleigh family uh, took the symbol of a black wolf uh, to represent their great skill as a hunt. See, uh, Klaus von Raleigh says that he lived up to, to the family symbol too well. His friends <laughs> nicknamed him the Black Wolf, uh, but he confessed it was 
more because he was prideful and uh, treated his villagers and women uh, very badly. He was much feared. <laughs> the Baron confesses that uh, a life of sin brought the werewolf curse upon him. Ah, listen to this. A gypsy camp, uh, Hungarians, uh, came to Damn our gypsies. one day. He wanted one of their young women. Uh, he had her brought to his castle <laughs> by force. And then yeah. Raped her? Raped her, yes. <laughs> yes. He intended to release her, uh, but before he did, the girl killed herself. The next day, an old gypsy woman from the camp uh, cursed him, saying that he was to become the shape that his name and his crimes showed his heart to be. Ooh. I see. This is where it Soon all started. afterwards, her curse came about. Klaus von Rallick began to change, to run at night as wolf, to kill and eat human flesh. He begs forgiveness from God and from his wife and son. He says he welcomes his punishment, if only it will pay for his sins and save his family from further pain. Hmm. That is all that is written. Wow. Thank you. Return to his son. Thank you. Good luck. Became the next werewolf, and he's still alive because they're immortal. He became the new alpha, and he's turning people. Alrighty. Uh, I need to go in here and be like, "Yo, look, listen to what I found out, dude." Maybe not, I don't know why it would, but before I leave town, might as well. Yes. Yes. Do you know anything about King Ludwig II? Of course. Everybody knows about Ludwig. He was the last true king Bavaria had. Why do you think I hang his portrait? Eh? Or that article on the wall? Huh? Do you know what that is? That is from the Munich newspaper the day after the king died. My great-grandfather saved it. It has been handed down to every first son. That is what Bavarians think of Ludwig. Damn. I guess that means they like him a lot. What else are you going to tell me about him? What was Ludwig like? Why is he so revered? Oh, he was a genius. Crazy. He had a great mind, you know. He built castles, is what he did. And kept on building them until they killed him. Who killed him? Them. Those politicians. <laughs> they, they said he was crazy. Got a doctor to sign some papers. They arrested him. Then what happened? What do you think? They killed him. Oh, they said it was suicide, but me, I don't believe that. <laughs> it was murder. I don't believe that. Thanks. Bitte. Bitte. Well, let's read this article then. I didn't read it before, but... I have no idea what that says. Looks old, though. Oh, come on. I know how to read it. Let me read it. I don't have anything to say to him. So that's King Ludwig II of Bavaria. He looks incredibly familiar. You know he looks like he looks like a Dennis from It's Always Sunny, with a funny wig on. You can't read that, really. I have no idea what that. All right, fine. Let's bounce. Walking, 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 walking. I don't have anything to say to her right now. <laughs> well, I mean, 
mean, now you, sh you should uh, write a letter to old, uh, what's his face? I'm not quite ready to write the big hero yet. Who should I call? Uh... Professor Barkley will call when he finds out something. Hmm. It wasn't worth picking up the first time. Well, you don't have to be a bitch about it. Hmm. What am I supposed to do? Hang on. Hmm. Just to go use the typewriter. I'm not quite ready to write the big hero yet. I'm not qu Hmm. I've done everything. Uh, talk to mayor, go to church, give a note to priest, talk to mayor, go to pub, talk to man about Ludwig, go to Schloss Ritter. Use typewriter and library. Huh. Maybe I talked to the wrong guy in the pub. Done everything else, right? Hmm. <laughs> Very curious. I don't want to disturb him. I don't have anything to say to Herr Huber. Weird. What do I need to do? All right. The coffins did that. Talked to Gerda about the car. Did that. Click on the fireplace. Yep, 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 yep. I did everything. Why won't it let me use the damn typewriter? This is weird. Alright, I'll be back once I figure out what I've missed. I wonder I think if Christian Ritter's there journal is here. another book on the bookshelf I missed. Who would have thought you'd have to check the same bookshelf twice? Christian Ritter, born 10 January 1820. Ordained a Schottenjäger. Died 4 March 1864. The 4th of March. That's the date on the letter. Date on what letter? All right, Knight, All I've right. got your research. All right. Go, little missy. Sending all those books, that is going to be the most expensive mail thing ever. You're going to have to pay like ten bucks in postage to get that thing over there. And they're gonna think it's a now, bomb. I just need somewhere to send it to. Well, let's go ask Gerda. I mean, she'll be nice this time and tell you where he is, even though she insisted she had no clue. I don't have anything to say to her right now. You do. Show her the package. I found the items that Gabriel wanted. Did he tell you where to send your research? Yes. His lawyer's office in Munich. Can I get the address? 
Harald Übergrau, Marienplatz 21, München. Thanks. God. You're the bitchiest women. Gerda's being a real pig about those car keys. Yeah, pig, more like a bitch. Let's go. Post office time. Grüß Gott. Grüß Gott. Womit kann ich Ihnen dienen? Grüß Gott. They don't say Grüß Gott in Germany. They say it's more of a Swiss thing. Das Päckchen so nach Muschen gehen. What? You need money? I've got money. Danke schön. This is like a children's thing about how the post office works. Why are they sitting at the same table? They hate each other. Who's gonna break the silence? <laughs> Why do you guys look like lesbians? Guten Abend. Guten, <laughs> uh, how are you? Uh, is this the castle of the shot and joggers here? Yes. Shot and joggers. I am excited! <laughs> we are so thrilled to be here. Emma said, it's the 1990s, for heaven's sake. The shot and joggers are probably long gone. Well, of course they aren't, I said. A family like that doesn't just dry up and blow away. The good <laughs> no, Lord put his people. mark on them. Who are you? I was just wondering the same thing, dear. Neither of you girls look like the heroic type, but who am I to judge? God chooses his soldiers, and who am I to put in my two cents? <laughs> no, we're, the, we're the Smiths from Merrimack, Pennsylvania. Uh, this is my wife, Merle. You can call me Emil. My husband. If I don't get Sounds right exactly to the like point, he'll get there for me. <laughs> it's nice to meet you both. Uh -huh. Well, how did that you hear about the shot Jagers? Oh, we're demonologists. Uh, my wife makes it her business to know a lot about a lot of different things. Uh, she's a regular, that what you call, uh, kind of occultist thing. scholar, aren't you, Mother? That's right. Yeah. I read about you all when I was studying he the Holy Witch trial last spring, weird. and I have been dying to get over here ever since. Well, so nice of you to stop by, but I'm afraid the Schottenjäger isn't here right now. I'll let him know you called, though. Oh, no. And I was so hoping to talk shop. We fighters of darkness are so rare these <laughs> days. And I know it can't scare one up to save your soul. Uh, it's not your fault, Missy. I I told Merle to call before he came. Now, people just don't <laughs> take you seriously unless you're standing right there. You know that, Em. Well, it's rather late. And if you're driving, you might as well, you know, oh, go out uh, right now. Don't worry about that. We're going to spend the night at the guest house in town. Stop by tomorrow, won't you, dear? You and I can exchange stories at least. We'll <laughs> well, come on. Merle, oh, man. You're tired. I think we got to go. But, yeah. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Good night, ladies. Good night. Good night. <sighs> what, what's wrong? Oh, no, she's possessed. Well, this just happens, man. I'm sorry. I'll get her some water. Give me your hand. Oh. I see. I see danger. Someone close to you is in danger. <laughs> Gabriel? I see something. Something like a wolf. Oh Black shit, she's wolf. real. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, don't you worry, miss. Uh, my Merle is going to be all right. This just happens sometimes. That's oh. all. It just, it just happens. Come on, Merle. Let's go. Come on. What the hell is going on? <laughs> what happened? I don't know. That was really bizarre. Alright, let's watch the intro movie to chapter 3. So I can get to a place to save it. 
And then uh, that'll be it for this episode. It's been a long one. Look at him lounging by the lake like a badass. Oh, there's a new border now. Is that supposed to be his grandmother? He's digging at his grandmother in the last game. This is really weird. <laughs> Given him a better place to sleep while he's out, like, catching the monster that killed their daughter. That's a, a little bit fucked. What is that? I can't tell if the video is so crappy. <laughs> Alright, we got a new border. Things are uh, picking up here. Uh, some crazy people showed up. Uh, got shit going, though. Uh, chapter 3. Alrighty. That is it for today. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Uh, see ya.